What's good guys, it's Friendly Actions here with another sneaker video. So today guys, I went to Undefeated. So earlier in the week, they had a raffle going on at Undefeated. And usually online, the raffles, it's always been really smooth for me. I just type in my information and I'm entered. No problem at all. I'm usually entered within the first couple of minutes and you know, I have my entry uh, secured and whatnot. Well in this case, for the off-white dunks, uh, I was going after the Michigan colorway. So if any of you guys have seen my top 10 video, you'll know that I was talking about those. And I said that there's going to be a video coming on the Off-White Dunks very soon, and here it is. So anyways, guys, I tried to enter for the sneakers. I had my uh, my name, all my info. But when I went to go collect or select the colorway, the Michigan, for whatever the reason, I was getting an error. That error persisted for like 10 minutes. And at some point, I just started picking random colors. And it finally went through. And even when it went through... I didn't actually get the pop-up that says you have entered. It just showed the shoes and I couldn't enter anymore. So I already knew right away that I was entered. Um, and then I was getting DMs from people and like, yo, like, did it say that you entered? And they had the same thing where it wasn't saying that they actually entered, but I ensured them that they entered and whatnot. And anyways, guys, I won my size. However, it is the wrong color because I was just randomly selecting stuff, trying to get the entry in. So size six, which is great. My size. First off, let's check out this box real quick. This crazy metallic box with the holes through it. See the retail price on there, 170 with the undefeated, size six. And yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Of course, you got the off-white paper. The shoes themselves. Let me just get out the one shoe and here we go. So one thing off the bat that um, I definitely noticed was it doesn't have, usually it'll have like, I don't know, air or whatever type of midsole on um just kind of written on the side right there nothing on the midsole at all you got your same usual like uh made in china tag that came on the jordan ones green laces that say shoelaces on it you got your little white pull tab you're like neon uh, infrared looking um laces on there which is kind of like the key feature of the dunk of course it's just a regular dunk otherwise white leather green leather um you got your tongue showing and whatnot Kind of like a yellow look to the Nike on the back, the off-white print on the side, the OG looking Nike tag, the little orange hit right here. But the one thing I will say is the leather quality on this is ridiculous. Definitely something that kind of reminds me of, um, what's it called, the Band Ones or something like that. That type of crazy leather on it. Uh, you got your little metal eyelets right here on the middle of the shoe in both white and green throughout. And you got your kind of like woven swoosh system going throughout that. Very cool. Let me pull out the stuffing, guys. Give me one second. On the inside, you have a insole that's very much like the paper. It's kind of yellow with all these different writings on it. See, like 2013, off-white, some logos, some branding. Of course, it's got the men's size 6 sticker on there as well. Let me show you the shoe close up for some details. And, yeah, super dope. Tomorrow, I am going to be going to round 2. Sean, the owner, one of the owners of round two, shout out to Sean. He's actually going to be buying, guys, my original Pokemon trading card booster box, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video. I've had it sealed since I was a kid, and when I'm there, I'm going to be picking up the yellow pair uh, that I was going after. So I will have two pairs in the collection, and of course, I'll show you guys a video of that shoe, and probably even the trade process, um, just because, you know, I think it's pretty interesting uh, selling him the uh, Pokemon box. And he's super hyped for it. He's been talking to me about it for a while, a couple of years now. Talking about how he wants to open the OG packs and whatnot. So, anyway, stay tuned for, uh, you know, that little trade video. But, yeah, guys, what do you think? What was your favorite of the three colorways? You guys already know mine. It was the Michigan. Really not a fan of the uh, red and gray too much. And, to be honest, I wasn't super crazy over these. But, in person, I'm definitely feeling them a lot, a lot more. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, definitely go back and check out that top 10 video. In it, I said that this was my favorite shoe of the year. However, since I didn't have it, I put a whole nother list together. And another thing to note, guys, I was looking at some of the comments after, and I left out two shoes that definitely would have been on there. I don't know where they would have ranked, but the Bread 4s and the undefeated um, Kobe 4s definitely would have been on that list somewhere, even a runner-up or something like that. So... Something to know, and thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, please thumb it up. Love to see your comments down below, and yeah, like like I said, if you enjoyed it, share it as well. That'd be great. Till next time, peace, guys. Thanks for watching. I said I would show my original Pokemon box, and here it is. 
original seal base set and the thing to note about this box is it has artwork that changed later on it has the green wing charizard instead of the blue wing which makes it a little bit more rare and even more rare it has the one country code at the bottom usually it would have like three or four so definitely a very rare version of the original box it's not first edition but it's probably like the second rarest version you can get other than first edition this is right after first edition went out of print so it's leaving the collection guys uh, going to Sean Wotherspoon so shout out to Sean and I figured I'd show you guys since I mentioned it in the video thanks for watching peace